Hey y'all, it's Smarty Jones, and you are watching the seventh episode of Smarty's World. Welcome. If you guys haven't been here before, please feel free to go to my YouTube channel and check it out. Um, this is going to be a very special episode of Smarty's World because I'm dedicating it to the memory of my nephew, Andrew Laverne Grice III also known as Trey. Um, he was taken from us last Thursday and um, can't even say taken. You know, God gave him to us and you know, he, he wanted him back. You know, so he took him back. You know, I guess he needed a sweet, smart, funny, just all around, just great 12 year old boy to come hang out with them in heaven and he decided to take our Trey. So, um, it's been a really, really rough week, but, um, I just wanted to take a few minutes and just thank all of you guys for your thoughts and your prayers and your good vibes and everything that, um, you got sent to us while, you know, Trey was, um, one, when he first got sick and, and then his time in the hospital, but then definitely after he passed on. Um, it happened so fast, so fast. Um, I got a phone call early Sunday morning that um, he had had a stroke. And then my brother finally made it to Georgia on Monday, and then it was just, it was crazy. So last week was just a roller coaster of just every emotion in the world. So, um, it's, it's been it's been really really hard for all of us. Definitely continue to pray for our family. Um, pray especially for his parents. Please call their names whenever you guys say your prayers. His dad Andy and his mom Samita because you know you never think that you're going to outlive your child. You know you especially don't expect to bury him at twelve for you know some crazy unexplained reason. You know, so, um, just definitely, you know, keep them in your prayers. And, um, you know, just, you know, just think about, think about Trey. You know, I hope he's going to serve as an inspiration for a lot of people. I, I know he certainly inspired me because just the way that that boy fought all week last week, just to be here. You know, he, I, I can't say enough about him. You know, it's so, so. So proud of her. You know, he lived a very full 12 years and uh, he's, uh, he's going to be with the world. We are, uh, we're about to go through this whole process of trying to get everybody down to Georgia. Um, it's, it's just been crazy. So, you know, we're, this week is going to be to it's going to be happy to say the least, so, you know, definitely keep us in your prayers. Also, um, just thank you guys so much. I mean, I know I said it before, but, you know, I, you know, words can't express the gratitude that I have right now. You know, I was using Facebook as a tool to keep everyone updated, you know, the, the family and, you know, all our friends and everything. And you guys are awesome. You know, you guys just... You kept me grounded, you kept me sane, you know, you provided, you know, shoulders for me to cry on in some cases, and, you know, you guys, you know, you were there when I needed to lean, so, you know, I definitely want to thank a lot of my friends, a lot of my family members, my cousins, um, my blogging crew, oh my gosh, you guys are awesome, awesome, even, even when Twitter was down, that's the brand new story, but, even when Twitter was down, you guys were sending me Blackberry messages and, you know, texting me and just basically trying to make sure that I was okay. And, um, it worked. You know, the Jaded New Yorker, <laughs> the effortless, you know, 12 Cow, you guys gave me an opportunity to vent. Oh, and Delta Lady. How can I forget Delta Lady? Oh my gosh. Kenesha, girl, I'm saying Girl, you my horse if you want everyone in other words. I promise you. I promise you. But um you guys kept me grounded. You guys kept me laughing when I needed to laugh. And, you know, this is you know, y'all are awesome. I swear. 
y'all ever need anything and I can help, I'll smart. Punch. Um, but, um, I'm gonna get out of here. You know, want to send a very, very special shout out to Kim Person. That is actually the song you guys can play underneath. It's called Just That Good. It's on her Speak Life album. So, you know, um, you guys can check out Kim. She, she's actually on my Facebook. And so, um, I'm gonna get her information to you as well. You guys really, really need to check that out. But this song has gotten me through so much. Y'all don't even know about this song. Not only, you know, what's going on right now, but, you know, some things that happened earlier this year. I'm, I'm telling y'all, this song, this whole project is fire. So if you are into gospel music, please, please, please look up Kim Person. All right. But um, hopefully I'll be back next week. Um, it's going to be a little... It's gonna be a little hectic, so I'm not sure um, when episode eight is coming, but you guys will be the first to know. Hopefully, I'll be able to get up a couple of blog posts because I'm um, taking Jaden New Yorker's advice, and I'm going to try to write out a lot of what I'm feeling. And um, difference of opinion will probably be up and running. I hope you just really, really tell next week. Until then, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift, and that's why we call it the present. So let's make the most of it. You guys, please, just hug your children, hug your children, let them know how much you love them. Even when they piss you off, hug them. Let them know, all right? Because you know, my brother and his ex don't have that option right now. You know, they, they can do that with their other kids, but they don't have that option with Trey right now. So definitely um, hug and kiss your kids. Till next week, I'll let you know.